क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन इज इफ लॉग एक्स टू द बेस टू प्लस लॉग एक्स टू द बेस फोर प्लस लॉग एक्स टू द बेस सिक्सटीन इज ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन फोर वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स तो ऑप्शन गिवन आर एट फोर सिक्सटीन एंड डी ऑप्शन इज नन ऑफ दीज नाउ वी नोटिस हेयर दैट ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ दिस वॉट इज गिवन बेस इज डिफरेंट हेयर द बेस इज टू हेयर द बेस इज फोर एंड हेयर द बेस इज सिक्सटीन सो वी आर टू फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट ऑल टर्म्स ऑफ द बेस टू फॉर दैट वी हैव द फॉर्मूला दैट लॉग ऑफ एम टू द बेस ए इज इक्वल टू लॉग ऑफ एम अपॉन लॉग ऑफ ए फॉर any base here we can have any base then we can write log m to the base a as log m upon log a now with this formula first term can be written as log x upon log 2 first term can be written as log x upon log 2 now see the second term second term is log x upon log 4 with this formula second term can be log x upon log 4 and log 4 is log 2 to the power 2 which can be written log which can be written log x upon 2 log 2 because log 4 which is in the denominator can be written as 2 log 2 so the second term we write here is log x upon 2 log 2 again we see the third third term now the third term is log x upon log 16 16 is 2 to the power 4 so we can write third term as log x upon 4 log 2 third term can be written as log x upon 4 log 2 and this is given as 21 upon 4 this is given as 21 upon 4 now we can take from left hand side we see that we can take log x upon log 2 as common and in bracket we find it is 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4 this is equal to 21 upon 4 this is equal to 21 upon 4 now we can simplify it here the lcm will be 4 in numerator we will find 4 plus 2 plus 1 this will be the simplification of the bracket and again log x upon log 2 with this formula can be written as log x to the base 2 we have written log x upon log 2 as log x to the base 2 and we have simplified we have simplified the bracket this is equal to 21 upon 4 now we notice that it is 7 upon 4 so log x to the base 2 is multiplied by 7 upon 4 so this gives us log x to the base 2 multiplied by 7 upon 4 is equal to 21 upon 4 naturally 7 will be cancelled with this 21 three times and 4 and 4 are cancelled 4 and 4 are cancelled now log x to the base 2 is equal to 3 the outcome is that log x to the base 2 is equal to 3 so with the definition of log x will be 2 raised to the power 3 therefore x is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 which is equal to 8 so we have now found the value of x we have to find the value of x we have found it as 8 so our option a is correct answer is 
x equal to 8. Now, we can check it also from the options. Now, we will be starting with option A. Option A is 8. So, if I write 8 here in place of x, then it should be 21 upon 4. Now, let us try it. I write in place of x, I write 8. So, first term will be log 8 to the base 2. Second term will be log 8 to the base 4. Third term will be log x to the base, log 8 to the base 16. Now, each term can be evaluated. Let this first term is x, second is y and third term is z. So, x plus y plus z will, should be 21 upon 4. Then our answer is okay. So, if I write log x to the base, log 8 to the base 2 is equal to x, this gives 2 raised to the power x is equal to 8 with the definition of log and hence this is 2 raised to the power 3. So, x is equal to 3. x we have found the first term when x is 8, we have found that first term value is equal to 3. Now calculate second term. Now second term is log 8 to the base 4. Log 8 to the base 4 which is equal to 1. So 4 raised to the power y should be equal to 8. 4 raised to the power y should be equal to 8. So 2 raised to the power 2y should be equal to 2 raised to the power 3 because 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 which gives y equal to 3 upon 2. Comparing the powers both the side, we get y equal to 3 upon 2. So, second term is 3 upon 2. Now, see the third term. Third term is log 8 to the base 16. So, log 8 to the base 16 is z. So, again 16 to the power z equal to 8 which gives 2 raised to the power 4z equal to 2 raised to the power 3 because 16 can be written as 2 raised to the power 4. So, z equal to 3 upon 4. Third term is 3 upon 4. Now, I add 3 plus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 4. So, 3 plus 3 upon 2 plus 3 upon 4. LCM will be? LCM will be 4. 4 into 3, 12. Then 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. This gives us 21 upon 4 which is our right hand side. So our option A that is 8 is correct. The value of x is value of x is 8. Now we will see the next problem. Now we will see question number 17. We have been given that log 2 to the base 10 is x, log 3 to the base 10 is y and we are to find log 60 to the base 10 and these are the options given to us. Now we notice that log 60 to the base 10 can be written as log 2 into 3 into 10 to the base 10. 60 can be written as 2 into 3 into 10. Now with the property of log we can write log 2 plus log 3 plus log 10 all have base as 10 because we know that log of m plus log of n to the base a is equal to log of m into n to the base a. With that property I can write because it is all in product form. So in log if we take separately of these numbers they will be in the addition form. Now log 2 to the base 10 is given x. 
log 3 to the base 10 is given as y and log 10 to the base 10 is of course 1 because log a base a is we know is 1. So I obtain the value of log 60 to the base 10 as x plus y plus 1 which is my b option. So option b here is correct. Now we will see next problem. Now we will see question number 18. It is given that log 2 to the base 10 is x, log 3 to the base 10 is y and we have to find log 1.2 to the base 10 and these are the options given to us. Now we notice here that log 1.2 to the base 10 can be written as log 12 upon 10 to the base 10 because 1.2 if I remove point then it can be written as 12 by 10 in the fractional form. Now we find that log 12 upon 10 can be written as log 12 minus log 10 when the base in both the logs is 10. Now 12 is 4 into 3 and 4 can be written as 2 and 2 to the power 2. So this can be log 12 can be written log 2 to the power 2 into 3 and log 10 base 10 is 1 because because log a base a is 1. So log 10 to the base 10 is 1. Now these two numbers are in the product form. So log m into n rule will apply which says that it will be equal to log 2 to the power 2 plus log 3 and minus 1 this minus 1 is as it is. Now it is again we say we find that it is m to the power n form. So m to the power n is n log m which is equal to 2 log 2 plus log 3 minus 1. Now we find that log 2 base 10 is given as x. Here I have not written the base but when the base is not written it is assumed as 10. So log 2 is given as x. So I write log 2 as x plus log 3 it is given as y. So I write here y and minus 1 is as it is. So which is my this option 2x plus y minus 1 which is my c option. So option c here is correct option. 